Hi friends! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sasha and today we are back in my bedroom because I have back-to-back -back vendor events happening tomorrow and next weekend and the area where I normally film has been taken over by all my stuff trying to get ready last minute so I'm very behind on the 80s comeback. I have not heard the songs. I have not seen the fits. I did get the albums and do my group order, but I haven't looked through the photo books. I've only seen photo cards and just like bits and pieces, so a lot of this I'm still totally gonna be surprised about. Um, I haven't listened to any of the songs yet, it's literally killing me, but I haven't had a chance to film been so tired and not feeling well and just like trying to get ready for the events and finally the event is tomorrow and it's four ATs so I know they're gonna play the video I know they're gonna play the songs and I don't want to be caught off guard I want my first reaction to be with you guys because you have been here from the very beginning of my ATs journey when fever part two was my very first comeback so I'm so excited to be here for not just another 80s comeback, but an entirely new 80s series. We are on 80s The World Movement. Is it episode one? I don't quite know the whole title yet. We are going to be watching the two teaser trailers into the music video and into the dance practice. So like, get a snack, get a drink, buckle up. We've got a lot to cover today, and I'm just so excited. Uh, so, here we go. I should have set this up before I started filming, but that would have been smart. Okay, we're starting with AT's The World Movement Official Trailer 1. Here we go. We're floating, we're spinning. Awakening of Summer. 세계. 완전하기에 우리의 세계는 안전합니다. 작은 오차는 곧 균열이고 균열은 곧 고통으로 이어집니다. 고통. 고통은 삶에 있어서 이러한 고통이며 무정적인 것입니다. 우리는 여러분들을 무거운 자다. 기별이 없는 세계는 언제나 안전하십니다. <gasps> oh my god, that's it? Huh? Okay. We're going right in. No pause. AT's The World Movement Official Trailer 2. We're floating again. Love it. Ah! 
my god, I love him so much. It's, ah, uh, ah. Uh.
five things to mention good enough for me wow um so far the song is so interesting compared to like gosh it's just such a departure from like some of their other title tracks so far in terms of how like raw it is it's it's like rocky was a good stepping stone to get here I can't wait to listen to it again and again and again. I'm so excited to hear the rest of the album and how it frames around this song. I wonder if this will be my favorite or if I'll have like something else, a to the beat moment again. We just really never know with ATs. Um, formations were really cool so far. I really love the line. It looks like once again we get the iconic Son and Young moment. Um, we got Son sliding forward. We got a lot of Yoonho on center, Jungho on center, Sungwa on center. Yosang had some really nice lines in this. Hung Joon and Mingi to start it off and just going off and setting the tone and the rock vibe. That one note that Jung Ho hit, I don't like know a lot of music terms, but it almost sounded a little bit like, I want to say dissonance, but I don't know that that's the right word. Like I need to listen to the song a few more times to really understand what happened, but it was the coolest thing. Like the transition in his part there was so cool. I loved it. I'm, oh my god, I can't believe I'm gonna have to focus on dancing now. Okay, I'm gonna do my best. Wish me luck. Here we go. Wow. Whew. Starting in three, two, one.
I can confidently say I have never seen ATs go that hard in a dance practice. And I say that every time I feel like, but it is honestly the truth, honestly. And the thing that's a lot different about this dance practice and the energy in it is the way that they are verbalizing their energy and motivating each other. And the other dance practices will get like very few moments of that where one of them will like give a little cheer or something. In the beginning of this, it's like the verbal the vocalization is part of the choreography is what it feels like. I don't I have a hair. I'm sorry. I don't know what they do on stage because I haven't seen the stage version yet. I don't know if they verbalize, vocalize, verbalize, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't know if they make those sounds on stage or if it's just in this practice, but right off the bat, that is how I knew this would be different because we do not get like choreographed vocalization in the other practices. And that is a thing that when I was with my students, I would do with them and I would encourage them. It's something that helps a lot if we're low on energy. It's something that helps a lot if we're trying to emphasize a certain movement or certain count. So if like one, two, three, four is like something really impactful, I might tell them like on four, we're gonna hit huh, or like some sort of sound, just like how they did. So one, two, three, huh. Like that is what they were doing in the beginning of this and cheering everyone on and it was crazy. So good, I loved it. We got a lot of turns in the beginning, which was very interesting. If you watch, we had four in the center and two on each outside. And the center people were rotating around each other in like this to get a new person in front and also spinning. So the individual is spinning and the group is doing a rotation while the people on the outside were turning. It was a really interesting way to sort of like um, shift the focus and like shift parts. We haven't seen that so much from them in the past. They've had some other choreography with really interesting turns in it. I'm picturing the choreography, but not the song right at this moment. I'll have to think about it. I can't remember which one it is, but we've seen turns and things from them in the past that I've mentioned, but this was just so interesting in the way that it almost looked like a gear or a mechanism, like with the, with the, what they made. It was interesting. They have, overarch arching um god i'm having so much trouble because my brain is just like exploding right now and my blood pressure is definitely up um give me a second to think <laughs> throughout the entire piece of choreography there's a very interesting rhythm and i wrote down bop versus hit verse versus flow which sort of leads into, if you saw in the like later half, I started to count the music because in the beginning I was just noticing the movement pattern, but then as we went on, I realized it's because of the music, which makes sense. But, so we get like a nice bop from the dancers, especially when Songwa is in the middle and they're all surrounding him. That's a great example of what I mean by like, the bopping they're like head nodding shoulder side to side it's very groovy or they were doing like this it's a nice hit but it's still like more casual we also get like hit hit or like a double really quick really sharp really fast or we get like the slow motion movement with like big arms, things like that. So it's one of those three movements sort of throughout or a combination to make one piece of movement. The cadence of this song and of this dance has a really big emphasis on three. So at first I thought maybe the music was in threes. One, two, three, one, two, three. But it's not. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
one, two, three, four. So if you watch it again and you try and count the music, you'll notice that every time it hits the third beat, that's what's emphasized in their movements. So a lot of times they'll do a step three times, like one, two, three, and then hold four, and then one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's almost like the fourth count isn't quite there because they use it as like a rest or a pause. It was just so interesting that it happened so many times throughout the choreography that I actually thought the song might be in threes. Like one, two, three, one, two, three, but it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Um, I don't know if I've explained it well enough, but it was so interesting and it affects the entire, entire dance. It's so cool. We need to talk about Demon Son and how insanely controlled he is through the first half of this. When he comes forward for the first time, you can just feel how strong he is by how, like, we've all seen him unleash. We've seen him break all the microphones and equipment. Like, we know what he's capable of. It takes so much more energy for a dancer like that to restrain themselves and control the movement the way that he did for that part. He like glides forward with his chest up, his chin up, and it's just like the most regal, powerful thing we've seen from him, maybe like aside from his opening and answer. That's what it reminded me of. Even when he's running in the music video, you can see it. He leads with his chest, his head is up, and his body follows this. Like his chest enters first. Why do I have so many rogue hairs? <laughs> it's just, his part was so unexpected, so cool. Also, Mingy's solo section totally wrecked me. Um, anytime Mingy gets to sort of unleash his dancing prowess. I'm not saying that word right, but you know what I mean? It just makes me so freaking happy. My favorite Mingy solo is his thanks solo, but I think this might be my new favorite. I'll have to see what it looks like on stage too. Um, but he's just having such a good time. Yoon-ho also, during all of his solo moments, looks jacked. My guys, they look big like they have been working very hard you can tell i can tell and they're growing up and becoming whew, men oh my gosh <laughs> this was just crazy to watch their growth and the control that they have as dancers the fact that we start with so much energy and then we get to the ending section of choreography. The ending section really starts when we have that group and then they start to move to the side with the like, boom, boom. That was so cool. From then on, the energy went from a hundred to a hundred thousand. It was amazing. And the control that they have is absolutely incredible. My last little note, uh, before I realized what the counts were doing, it was really interesting to me that the arms were going up, middle, out, or like up, middle, low, and it was always the same. The arms always happen in a group of three, like da, 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 da. Uh, so if you watch it again, look for that because it's in this dance a lot, especially once we get the group for the first time in the beginning and then towards the end that ending section is literally crazy i don't know what i saw because there was so much happening the energy is all that i could pick up on this song is so interesting from a musical standpoint that i'm gonna have to listen to it a lot which is not a bad thing i'm not mad about it I'm very excited the dance, they absolutely crushed this. I can't wait to go back and watch all the stages. I know that they've won so many of the music shows this past week. I'm so proud of them. I wish I could have participated more in the comeback, but life happens. I'm here now. 
and trust me, I will get the views in on the music video and the practices and the stages. So thank you so much for watching. I will hopefully have a get ready with me where we listen to the album sometime within the next month. I'm not sure when I'll be able to film again with what I have going on for the rest of August, but fingers crossed that I'll definitely listen to the album with you guys at some point. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. I hope it didn't stop filming. I'll be so upset. Okay, good.